random numbers in Python with a couple different packages. One of them is the random package. Another one is the NumPy package. I'm just going to cover NumPy. Uh, in this case, we have a couple different uh, values that we can generate. Uh, for example, uniformly distributed values between 0 and 1 with RAND. You can do the normally distributed values and then also rand int is uniformly distributed integers in a given range. So these are some of the ones that I've used uh, most. And if you'd like to use a random number generator with NumPy, you use uh, import NumPy as NP, use the random uh, function in there, <coughs> or package, and then RAND, if you want to generate two random numbers, just put a two in there. Okay, and then it generates your two random numbers. When you do this, your values are probably going to be different than these. When we want to generate a random number, not between 0 and 1, but between a different range, you can use this same function, but then you need to scale it. So, for example, I'm going to increase the range to 2, and I'll subtract 1 to center it at 0, and then that will be between negative 1 and 1. In this case, it generates a random number of negative 0.34. You can also generate uh, random integers between zero, 0 and a certain value or a range that you put in here. This is going to be between 0 and 9. And then I just change it to plus 1 to make it between 1 and 10. In this case, the result is 4. So let's go through an example here where we look at the distribution. Um, this is a distribution of a normal, uh, a normal distribution. I'm just going to run this one. And every time you run it, um, and if you'd like to follow along on this, again, just grab, uh, you can get into Google Colab or the source here under Schedule. And this is going to be under GitHub. You can do this. This is problem number three in homework number four uh, right here. Or you can uh, just come to this Colab link four, and that's going to be problem number three that we're looking at. Okay, so here's the source code here, um, and when I run it uh, different times, it's going to change it a little bit. You can see that it doesn't look like a normal distribution because we only have 50 data points. But if we went up to something like 1,000, then it's going to look much more normal in the distribution. Uh, it's kind of like flipping a coin uh, a certain number of times. It's eventually going to approach about 0.5. Okay, so let's go down and just do this exercise. We want to do a Poisson distribution instead with lambda equals 1. And so I'm going to use this, um, use this function, the numpy random.poisson. Okay, so it's np.random.poisson. And we're going to use a lambda of 1 and then 1,000 data points. Okay, we can just look at the first few if we'd like, uh, first few. Uh, maybe 20 values. You can see it's going to be 0, 1, uh, 2, 3. There's going to be some 4s and 5s in there as well. But let's just divide this into bins. Okay, so we want to have the zeros all together, the 1s. We're just going to count them. And so we can do that by saying these are the bins that I want. And then I'm going to generate a histogram of those values. Okay, and Let's just print off the histogram on how many we had out of those thousand values. We had 378 that were zeros, 351 that were ones. And these are actually equal, they should be equally dis distributed there. Um, and so these should be equal numbers as we, or close to them as we get up to number higher number of samples. Okay, let's go ahead and just plot this. A uh, little bit of instructions on how to create this plot. I'm just going to come up here and grab uh, this one and then modify it a little bit for our plot. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the red line and also get rid of this shift that I did. I did that in the normal distribution to just center it at zero. And here is our, it's no longer a normal distribution, it's going to be a Poisson distribution. Okay, and so here are the values that I got. And you can see it's going to be just a little bit different uh, than I, what I computed before. Every time I, I recompute this, it's going to change the answer. Okay, if I recompute this, it's going to change that distribution just a little bit. These are random numbers. So you can see in this case, the 1 was a little bit higher. But if I go up to something 
like instead of a thousand I go up to a million values or 10 million values okay it's going to generate those um, and you can see the count there and then when I look at the distribution you can see these are going to be nearly uh, equal at this point okay and then you can see uh, the rest of the values and so this was uh, going to be a million samples instead okay so there's just a, a basic tutorial on how to generate random numbers with NumPy uh, again there are other packages as well if you'd like to use you know the random package um, you can import uh, random and then uh, something like uh, random dot random okay and that'll also give you uh, a uniformly distributed number between zero and one okay so um, that concludes this tutorial um, random numbers very easy to generate you could see even with uh, you know 10 million this was very fast in Python